Yo. 2011 Tahoe. I got some fun to do with this. The guy took it someplace to get an oil change and the transmission dipstick tube broke. So he got one from the dealer. And I'm going to try to put this in. He was quoted like a whole bunch of money to take the engine out to be able to do this. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I don't even know what I'm doing until it's done. So I'm just going to do this. Looks like a nice clean brake too. There's no like, usually if something's cracked for a long period of time, you'll see a lot of rust around part of it. But it's not like that. These things are a little brittle, I guess. Gee, you'd think it'd bend a little bit. I'm under the car, the passenger side. That's what I have to work with. It's a pretty tight looking fit. There's a heat shield up here with a couple 10 millimeters on it. Good amount of Loctite on these, they don't come out real easy. This is a 13 millimeter. I got a swivel sock and a three foot extension on this. Just to make my life a little easier. I don't know if this is gonna leak transmission fluid all over the place or not. I can just pull this right up. It comes out really easy it looks like. And thankfully it did not leak fluid all over the place. Ooh. There I got it out. There's barely enough room, but I got it. got to get up top and look and see where this is poking through. Well that ain't right. It's going up and under some heater hoses. So I'm going to try to move this around from down here just a little bit maybe. Like so. Maybe. Looks like that's as close as I'm gonna get it. That's pretty darn close too. I need just a little more room. And it's got a nice lip right here too. I don't I don't know. I don't wanna bend it or cut it so. I'm going to drop the cross member of the transmission and see if I can get a little more room that way. These four bolts are 21 millimeter in the swivel socket. Oh, nice. They don't come out. one of them bolts back in there because uh, I'm going to try to do something here. Put this under the transfer case. Got a couple 15 millimeter bolts. They're actually studs on this transmission mount. Take those out. 
I'm gonna jack up on this mount. I can get those out. bar action. Drop this out of the way. I'm going to lower this down as far as it wants to go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So close. Had to do a little prying, but I got that sucker in there. He didn't get a new seal, but I assured him that it wasn't going to leak because these are these are pretty good seals. I don't know why the dealer says he got to remove the engine or something. I don't know. I didn't look at the estimate either, but he said it was going to be a lot of money. This isn't that bad of a job. There it is. Looks like a dipstick tube. Works like a dipstick tube. Um, yeah, and if that dipstick ever breaks like really low, like down by the pan, and you can't really grab it and pull it out, I would probably just do a filter change on it and just take the pan off and do a fluid filter change and just pound it out through the bottom. And that'd, that'd be an easy way to get the tube out too if it's way too short. From the looks of this other side of the dipstick tube, I'd say this thing was probably broke a long time ago and there's just there's a little tiny spot weld here and a little spot weld there and that little spot weld way down on the bottom is probably the only thing that's been holding it on for like a really long period of time. Funky. Okay, bye.